welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of being open to constructive criticism. The truth is, most people are better at dishing out criticism to other people, but not that great at receiving constructive criticism back. They either get angry, feel offended, or feel that change is not needed. Without being able to take in constructive criticism, especially when the advice is warranted, you will not be able to fully evolve into the best version of yourself. Sometimes change is needed, and sometimes we choose to ignore those red flags ourselves. When our mindset is constantly in a place of growth and positivity, we're able to consider people's constructive criticism and use it to fix areas in our life by shifting our attitude and actions to better serve our community, relationships, and peers. Sometimes we are oblivious about things we need to change, so it's important to evaluate people's constructive feedback and get to the root of the problem. As the saying goes, don't let compliments get to your head and don't let criticism get to your heart. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. When I go on your social media, I always see you really connecting with your fans. Like you respond to all your fans. Um, I did see that you surprised one of your fans uh, with toys. But yeah, so with Lara, it was really, really cute. Um, and my friend got in contact with her mom, found out she was having a bit of a rough time at school. Uh, you know, as you do it, like when you're 13 years old, it's a bit of a tough time in your life. Um, so I was like, cool, like, let's rally up some stuff, let's go see her. We brought a whole bunch of pizzas, uh, toys, everything like that, uh, just to try and make it. Yeah. Like, we just wanted to make it the coolest kid at school for the day. So. What does luxury mean to you? Luxury. In India, I discovered that true luxury isn't something you buy off a shelf. True luxury is a feeling that you are the Maharani of your world. And it can be all designed around you. All the beauty is yours. All the music is yours. India showed me that luxury doesn't follow designers and brands. True luxury follows its own heart. Incredible India. All natural sweetener, flavor all. 20 flavors to choose from. The perfect substitute for sugar and artificial sweeteners. Flavor all by Greenish. Flavor all from Greenish. Now available at Rexall Pharmacies. Next up on the show, we have Harry Josie. Harry gained worldwide fame from being on the show Too Hot to Handle on Netflix. Harry, thank you for being on the show today. It's great seeing you. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you going? I'm doing good. I think I was just telling you how hot it is in Toronto. It's 30 plus degrees, so it's hot, but I'm not complaining because it's cold otherwise. <laughs> That's my point. That actually is my, I thought, I honestly thought that Canada literally just snowed all year round. I had no idea that um, you actually have hot months as well. Yeah, thank God. If it snowed all the time, I would not be living here. <laughs> I can tell you that for sure. I, even though I've been brought up here, I'm not used to the snow. So when it's hot yeah. like this, I like it. So let's talk about your journey with the show, um, Too Hot to Handle. Like, how did it begin? What, what made you want to audition? Um, I was actually, I think I was going to be on Love Island in the UK. Like, because I, I mean, got a UK passport. Mm -hmm. um, and. Yeah, I actually don't really know what happened because I had no idea that it was for Netflix or the concept of the show or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I was kind of just a little bit over the dating scene when I was living. I was in uh, New Zealand and it just wasn't it just wasn't as fun or what I was after. And I was kind of after something a little bit more. And then for some reason I made luckily made it on this show and then yeah, that changed everything for me. So yeah. Yeah, definitely. Now you've become a household name. Everyone knows who you are. I love the show, and I, you were actually one of my favorite. I was gonna say characters, but 
It's not really, you're not really a character. You're being yourself, I'm assuming. So um, oh, I really God, like this show. <laughs> Were you playing a character? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I was, cool. I was, it's like, I feel like it's, they just get like 10% of your personality and the, and the craziest parts of your personality and just put it in front of everyone. Yeah, definitely. That, that's true. So what was your takeaway from the show? Did you, what, what did you learn from this whole experience? Because it's a pretty crazy experience, right? <laughs> yes. Um, never lie about kissing someone. And, <laughs> and uh, there's nothing better than love and uh, having your special person. So yeah, that's it true. made me have a, have a new lease on relationships and, and, how I, and how I approach the situation and how I approach dating. Definitely. So is there any more reality uh, series in the works for you? Would you do this again or was this it for you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't do Draw the Handle again. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm working on a couple of fun projects uh, with some really cool people uh, with a really big team, which would be exciting once those go through and come to fruition. Um, but yeah, kind of just waiting for those things to happen. And, and pushing forward with those shows because there'll be there'll be a lot of fun. But who knows? It might be The Bachelor in the next couple of years. Wow! <laughs> hey, you never know. You know these. If you put it out there, it might happen. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been saying it way too much. I wouldn't say no to it honestly. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it would be pretty. I, one of my favorite shows is The Bachelor, and we actually have uh, someone on the show from The Bachelor next week, so it, it's going to be pretty yeah. cool. But. Let's talk about what's the experience like when you're on a reality show. Like, are you aware of the cameras? Is it harder to like interact with people and connect with them, or is it natural for you? Because I always felt it would be unnatural a bit, you know. Um, I feel like you only um, like you only notice the cameras for like the first day, oh. and then it all just like goes away and it's like just in the background. Um, it is a little bit hard to like. Talk, say if me and you had an argument and I really wanted to talk to you, squash it, get over it, move forward, we couldn't have that conversation until like uh, the producers wanted us to. So like oh, you know, a couple God. hours in there feels like a couple of days. So like by you know the two hour mark gone, like you you kind of thought of like different things and maybe you're a little bit more angry, a little bit more pressed, and you don't even mm -hmm. want to have that conversation where you yeah. just want to have an argument. So it's like. That like only things like that is is where um, where it feels a little bit like jaded, but mm -hmm. I guess it just it makes really good TV. But yeah, it's like I think it just amplifies any relationship or anything that goes on. Like being in those situations where you don't have your friends, your family, or anything like that you just have these other people that you're competing against. Yeah, hundred percent. And I love your social media. You always have all these like. Um, just just fun pictures, really. Like I know you work with Fashion Nova as well. Let's talk about your social media and has it blown up since you started or did you always have such a big following? Um, I had about 100,000 followers before the show started. Um, and then it, yeah, obviously like, looks like 4 million in a wow. month. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I had to, I honestly had no idea that it was gonna be this big or like this, yeah, global. It's just yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. I can imagine, yeah. And what, one thing I do like is when I go on your social media, I always see you really connecting with your fans. Like you respond to all your fans. Um, I did see that you surprised one of your fans uh, with toys. <laughs> you, I think she was um, maybe in elementary school or something like that, and you, you brought a bunch of toys for her. I thought that was really nice. So let's talk about that experience. Um, so yeah, I did a TV show before called Heartbreak Island. Mm -hmm. That was the first one I did. And I had like a small little fan base of that. And there was this one girl called Lara, uh, who was my first ever fan page. She made edits day in, day out. Like I'd see she'd have my photo on the back of her book. Uh, I don't know, I just wow. thought it was really cute. And it was really sweet that someone would have, like, I don't know, I find that it's like in my comment section, I find that if people are taking time out of their day to comment something nice, I should at least try it and reply to it, try and get something back. So that's why. I, on every post, even on TikTok, I'm like trying to reply. Like it, it takes me like hours to try and get. I was gonna say, but yeah. So with Lara, it was really, really cute. Um, and my friend got in contact with her mom, found out she was having a bit of a rough time at school. Uh, um, you know, as you're doing like when you're 13 years old, it's a bit of a tough time in your life. Um, so I was like, cool. Like let's rally up some stuff. Let's go see her. We brought a whole bunch of pizzas, uh, toys, everything like that. 
uh, just to try and make it yeah. like we just wanted to make it the coolest kid at school for the day so so yeah, yeah. and yeah. it was really cool it was, it was one of those really feel good moments and something that I'm super proud of yeah for sure. Yeah, and let's talk about that, the importance of connecting with your fans. Because as you said, it takes a long time even to respond to each and every person, thousands of DMs. I even saw when I posted a, about you coming on the show, I saw you saw my story. So I was like, is that actually him? So are, is that actually you contacting all, like uh, responding to your fans and stuff like that? Or, uh, yeah. Um, I, have a, I have a habit of watching every single story mention. <laughs> like I, just, I can't not watch it. I'm like, I need to see the on. I can't reply to every DM. Uh, I reply to a few here and there. I've, I've seen like group you know, group chats that have been added into it and I'll just random and be like, hey, thanks for adding me. Uh, but then I quickly found out that if you jump into like 10 group chats at the same time, they'll just blow up your phone. Uh, for sure. Or like, you know, <laughs> I've kind of like slowed down on like that, but more more so like, um, yeah, watch everyone's stories, like every story mentioned and then also like, uh, I'll like every tag photo or in comment and stuff like that. It's, it's a lot of work, but I love it because it gives me a chance to, to connect with other people around the world and for some reason they're interested in me. So yeah, yeah I just, just want to try <laughs> my best to um, make everyone's day a little bit more special. I think that's great because then, you know, your fans feel connected to you and um, you keep their support. So I think that's really great that you respond. Let's talk about your, you. I know you started your own clothing line and sunglasses brand. So let's talk about that and uh, let's, yeah, how did that get started? Um, so the sunglass brand got started in like a couple years ago with my best friend Chris Chan. I met on the first TV show. Mm -hmm. um, just wanted to do something together, something fun, something like summer vibes. And yeah, we just, uh, Started that, had no real idea or anything like that, and now it's kind of like blown up, which is really cool. And then obviously my merch, uh, which is getting redesigned, done a lot better now. But mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know, I find that like, I'd rather have something that I'm proud of, something that's like me, and that I can go out and see people using or wearing, uh, makes me super happy and, and kind of feel accomplished. Mm -hmm, for sure. And you know, our show, we have a lot of entrepreneurs on our show and we like to talk about, you know, inspirational things. So did, what kind of challenges did you have when starting your own brand? Because for, as I said, we have a lot of entrepreneurs and we always like to give motivational advice to, you know, spur them on to get through challenges. So did you have any challenges as an entrepreneur or, or yeah, let's talk um, about that. Yes. So <laughs> when we first started, I didn't believe that marketing budget was a thing. <laughs> uh, so we didn't we didn't budget for marketing or anything oh, silly like we because we just didn't know we're just like let's start let's figure it out uh, um and let's go from there so i think it's it's super cliche and everyone says it like the hardest thing to do is start but once you yeah, get started yeah. you get the wheels in motion uh and then everything comes together because the best thing that you can do is try and fail because then at least you learn and you mm -hmm. keep moving forward uh well i made so many mistakes We've, we've tripped over so many times, but the best thing is to do that, move forward, ask for help, uh, ask for someone who's been in that position before. Don't ask them to do it for you, just mm -hmm. ask for help. Mm -hmm. And what, what do you think the key to your success has been? Because there's been a lot of people on these reality shows and then they just disappear and you don't hear from them again. So what do you think the key to your success has been? Um, um, I think diversifying is like a big one. Uh, I found that like a lot, not a lot of people like they just kind of stick to Instagram yeah. uh, or they like half ass the YouTube, which I've done. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that the best thing is to, to, to diversify. Don't be afraid to reach out to work with other people. Like even mm -hmm. if it's like, or oh, post your my story or like let's do a TikTok together or like, oh, you've got a big YouTube channel. Maybe I could come in on it. I don't know. Like I, I, think, I feel like I've got a really, really strong network. Mm -hmm. um, and I love everyone that I hang out with and I'm just so blessed that they're, that they're successful in like YouTube or like TikTok or whatever. So yeah, I think just the diversifying and trying to do as much as possible. Like I went crazy hard on my TikTok. I'm almost at like 3 million followers on there now. Yeah. Um, and now people are calling me a TikToker. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, I think the best thing to do is just, yeah, try and diversify. Yeah, I think that's great advice for sure. It's good to, you know, dip your feet in different platforms like YouTube, TikTok, whatever's trending, I think it's important to to get into. So what are your current projects? What's what's next for you? Um, so obviously redesigning the merch. Mm -hmm. uh, doing that, kind of doing like a little bit of a lucky dip thing. Uh, so like 
I don't know, I'm not too sure if you know, but on my Instagram, every time I talk or like address my followers, I'm like call them a different food name or something like <laughs> cute. Um, yeah. So I do like a lucky dip thing. So you spend X amount and you make it like, hey, my little dumpling or hey, my little pineapple. <laughs> something, something random, something cute. So working on that, trying to make it fun. Um, there's a skincare brand in the works. Oh, wow. really, uh, which I'm going to be so proud of once that's, all, that's up and running. Got a really strong team for that. Uh, really, really, really cool products. And then, yeah, obviously the sunglass sunglass brand is, is taken along. So, yeah, it's just my three little babies and then another TV show that we're working on. So, very awesome. busy. Awesome. Well, thank you, Harry, for being on the show today. And congratulations on all your success. And I hope to have you back on soon. Hopefully hey, when you become you. The Bachelor, you'll be back on the show. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. The, the person next week, if, if they... Uh, if they, if they got any tips for me or, or if they can put in a <laughs> All right, awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> you too, too. Okay, bye. bye. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.